pastoral care can get overwhelming in some seasons. There, there's times when there's so many needs and you're trying to keep track of them and you're trying to not only just remember, oh, that person had something going on, but you want to really remember what, what was happening. You make sure they remember forever what, what they're going through and when they're scheduled for their next surgery or how long they're going to be in the nursing home or how long they're going to be at home recovering and out of work. It's, it's like one thing to put all the things in a calendar, but if you're like me, you've had moments where you're just like, oh my goodness, like I can't stay on top of it because let's face it, you've got notes scattered in all kinds of different places. You got some in your notes app on your phone. You've got text message conversations. You wrote some things down in your small group notebook as you were going through prayer requests for that day after the end of your meeting. Then some people send you an email and you've got email conversations just thrown through your inbox and you don't remember who said what and when. And then you, you've, you know, at times have just written down things on a sticky note on your desk. And what this can lead to, it's something we've probably all done. It's dropping the ball and feeling terrible. So in this video, I want to show you a better system for pastoral care, a system in notion so that you can keep track of all the needs in your congregation and care for them well. So let's dig in. What you're looking at right here is my Notion ministry dashboard. This is a couple of sections within it. It's got all kinds of things available inside of it, but if you want to learn more about all of that, you can go to preachandlead.com slash notion dash ministry dash dashboard, and you can find all of that there, um, all of the features, all of the things. But right now, I just want to show you my pastoral care tracker because that's the whole point of this video. I want to help you get a handle on your pastoral care. So this is uh, set up in Notion as a as a uh, a database, but it is a Kanban board view. So what I have here is a way to keep track of those who are who who have recently died. So you got some notes in there, which we'll go through. People who are in the hospital, actively in the hospital right now. Those who are recovering at home, or they're at a nursing home long term, and then people who have an upcoming procedure. And so these are the things that I've put in here. You can certainly come up with additional um, additional kind of categories. Um, and then I also have this kind of checklist for when someone someone passes away, but they're they're like in or connected to our church, but I'm not doing the funeral. I'm not officiating. So I want to make sure we send condol condolences. We set a reminder to check the obituary to make sure we know when the service is happening, when visitation is happening. I'm going to add it to the calendar. And then I'm going to set a reminder to follow up a week afterward with a phone call at least. And then set a reminder to follow up again a few weeks out with a phone call or text. So this is just kind of a checklist for me when someone passes away who is connected to the church I lead, but I'm not doing a funeral. Okay. So what I want to show you is just some examples of how this could look. So just imagine, you know, this is your congregation and you could probably already think of people who have recently had a loved one pass away someone who's currently in the hospital, someone who's recovering at home after a surgery or something like that, somebody who's got an upcoming procedure. So what I love about Notion is it has so much flexibility to do things like this. Um, so what I did was I just put in George S. That's just a random name. But let's just say that George passed away on February 7th. Super sad, I know. But in here, this is a page within Notion and I can put in any kind of information that I want in here. I can assign it to a team member. So if you and your staff team or your elders or leaders um, use Notion, you can go in here and assign them. Hey, I need you to you know follow up with this person. Um, attachments. So if you have any files, things that you need to keep in mind, something that the family shared with you, you can put those in here. Um, and then a deadline for following up. So follow up for February 16th. That'll make sense in a minute. And their status, right? This is someone who's... Uh, who's passed away. And so we've got some notes in here, just a couple of bullet points that passed away on February 7th. We'll put in the notes here. Uh, the service is going to be on February 12th or was on February 12th at 11 a.m. at XYZ and Son's Funeral Home. And then I've got a little checklist here. Um, things like, all right, we need to meet with the family. If you know we're leading the service, we need to meet with the family. Uh, we need to communicate with the funeral home. We need to talk to the funeral director or whoever our contact person is there. Make sure we're on the same page. We got to make arrangements for the meal at the church. If there is one, if your church does that kind of a thing, 
We need to obviously write the funeral message, which all comes from meeting with that family and learning more about that person and kind of what they want to do or what they want that service to look like. Then we need to lead the service, and then we need to schedule a follow-up to check in with the family. So uh, this is all like as if it's already been done, uh, but this is what it would look like if you haven't done any of those notes. And uh, you can even create a template. So let's say you wanted to take this kind of a thing and make it into a template. Well, you could. Uh, let me get rid of those. So you could just copy. And let's say you wanted to create a, you know, uh, someone passed away template. You could do that. Create a template. Someone passed away. And then do that here. Obviously, we want to take this out. Uh, let's say service on that at this funeral home. That way we have a little bit of a template there. Passed away on. And we'll take that out. And now, if we go back, we've got... Um, so let's say, Shay, you know, this just happened. Very tragic. We can click this. And it automatically lines up for us to be able to know, all right, here are the things that we need to do. Sometimes when you're in pastoral care, you just need to make sure, okay, am I, I just want to make sure I'm not dropping anything. I'm not, not missing the boat on this. So passed away on this, we fill in the date, service on this date at this funeral home. <clears throat> and now we know when we're doing this and we can set up our follow-up uh, reminders, et cetera, et cetera. Here's another example. Leroy is in the, in the hospital and what I love about Notion additionally, just, you know, I've got the basic notes. He had leg surgery on February 14th on Valentine's Day. Really unfortunate. He's going to be in the hospital for three days at, you know, just a generic hospital room 555. And what I like about this is I can add a comment, you know, when, okay, we visited morning of February 15th. That way, you know, if you need to keep track of the contacts you're making, or if your elders are concerned that you're not visiting people, you can always show them this. Or if you just really want to make sure that you're staying on top of it, which is where all this should, you know, derive from anyway, you can make sure that you um, are just recording when you go, when you were seeing them. So you can just use the comment function and add that in here. So visit morning, February 15th. Uh, that's great. Cool. So they're in the hospital. Now, if Leroy, you know, it's three days later, we know that he went home. So we can just take this, drag it over underneath Jane. And now he's recovering at home. We've got nobody in the hospital. So let's go to Jane. She's recovering at home. Okay. So she had surgery on February 1st. She's recovering at home. Um, visit the hospital on February 1st. We're using the comment function to just make sure we're staying on top of things. Called on February 3rd, texted on February 8th. So we're making sure we're following up with her. And then let's say Jane got to a point where she's back to work and she's good to go. Great. We can slide her over here. And I love this. Removes from tracker. Boom. Tonight, keep it nice and clean. That way, this is only there for people we're actively caring for in a intentional kind of specific way. This obviously doesn't capture, you know, people who are just hurting. We just want to make sure that we're caring for the flock. This is, these are, you know, current real-time needs that they are having from a physical standpoint. And then, okay, we got an upcoming procedure. We want to make sure we stay on top of that because this is where things can get really messy. You're like, okay, who was going where and when? And okay, was I supposed to be at the hospital yesterday? Oh no, I missed it. You know, all that stuff. So we go in here, Josh B. Um, he's having knee replacement surgery on March 1st at 6 a.m. So now we know that he's having surgery. So we can set the date for our follow-up um, just at the as the date of the surgery, and it's at Christ Church South. Okay, so Notion will notify me um, of that. Obviously, we can also use our calendar, which I would recommend doing that. Notion actually just came out with a calendar app, um, so maybe I need to do a video on that here soon. But this is a great way to just make sure that we are staying on top of things. So Josh, okay, he had his surgery, so we're going to bring it over here. He's in the hospital. He's recovering. And then once he's done recovering, we bring it over here. And, you know, obviously you can change the order of this stuff if you want to. And then eventually we're going to remove him from tracker because he's right back to work. Great. That's awesome. Leroy's still there. All this, you know, after, you know, a few months right here, we can maybe uh, slide these names off of the tracker 
and go from there. Here's what I found. When I'm able to tap into a system that, that puts everything in front of me at once, it's helpful. What's overwhelming is trying to search for calendars, trying to search in my, my notes app and my phone, trying to keep track of text messages and email threads and all the stuff, Facebook messages, I mean, all that. What we need to do is curate all those things and put them in one place. That is what this pastoral care tracker does. It is inside of the Notion Ministry dashboard. And I would highly recommend if you want to get a handle on all of the things that are required of you in pastoral ministry, the Notion Ministry dashboard, at least for me and for the people who have bought this already and have shared feedback with me, this is a game changer because it takes all of the different spinning plates that we have and it puts everything in one place. And that, my friend, is invaluable. So if you want to learn ma- learn more about the Notion Ministry Dashboard, then go right here to this link, preachandlead.com slash notion dash ministry dash dashboard. And you can learn more and get your copy today. And speaking of that, making sure that you're staying on top of things on what you've got to do week in and week out, day in and day out. If you want to make the most of your time and get more things done in ministry, be sure to check out this video where I show you how I use my Notion ministry dashboard to do exactly that. Go right here. I'll see you there.